Hello and welcome to an Open Manage Power Manager Quick Insight video. What do we mean by Open Manage? That's all those tools and solutions that Dell produced to manage Dell PowerEdge servers. And what do we mean by Power Manager? That's a plugin to Open Manage Enterprise that lets me monitor and manage power going being used by those PowerEdge servers selected third-party servers, and some PDUs, and some UPS monitoring as well. Okay, before we start the tour, let me just touch on the environment. So here's my Open Manage Enterprise home page. And because I've got the Power Manager plugin installed already, I get a widget on the home page. You can see that I'm putting back the uh, power history, the amount of power consumed by all the servers. So we're putting that information out of the iDRAX. And you can see that I record that up to a year. Okay, so we hold that in the database for up to a year. And if I want to zoom in on a particular set of dates or times, I can do that quite easily. And also, if I want to do something with that data outside the tool, I can export that either as raw data or just export the graph that I've just pushed together. Now, in addition to that, there are scheduled reports that can reports that can be emailed out to customers. And just to highlight the information that I'm showing on this widget, I'm collecting that power, that energy used by all the servers. If I know the price of my energy, I'm calculating out the cost. And if I know my carbon footprint of the energy that I'm using in my uh, PUE, my, how efficient my data center is, I can calculate out my carbon emissions for that entire fleet as well. I'm going to go off at a sidebar for a couple of seconds because when we're talking about power, each individual server has a system profile uh, bias level that manipulates the chipset behavior. And these can be set to raw performance, but performance per watt. So we can report on that and a customer may choose what's, what, what profile to use. Obviously, performance per watt is a little bit more power efficient. Now, if I start drilling down into individual servers, you know, I said earlier on that I build an environment already so I can drill down onto a rack. And then if I have a look at a particular server in a particular rack, now here's, here's, here's a R760. And if I have a look at the metrics that we're collecting in that R760, you know, here's my monitoring metrics. So these are the information that I'm putting back from that iDRAC, okay? I'm consolidating that information. And you can see that per server, I'm collecting that energy, cost, carbon emissions, watts, so, and uh, thermals again, but also things like system utilization, CPU utilization, memory bandwidth, fan speeds. If the machine has a GPU in there, I, I, I lift that information up on power consumed by the GPU and the thermals of the GPU. If it's on a power grid, we done the power, I, I, I report what we draw on each grid. And then if I have a look at alerting, so I'm, I might do this at an individual server level, more, more, more often we do this at a rack level. I can see what that machine is drawing power-wise, but I can set an alert on that both for power, both for power or temperature. So that gives me an idea of, you know, maybe at a rack level, I set a 2000 watt rack, you know, 2000 kilowatt rack. And then I know how close I am to that threshold. Now I'll come back to policies in a couple of seconds. Now if we go up to the actual plugin and have a look at the widgets and the dashboard that I can Produced from the uh, Power Manager plugin itself, this is giving me a information that I might want to go and action. So, power offenders. Any you saw a minute ago that I can set a policy that says how much alert me when I'm near the top end of my power, alert me when I'm over the top of that threshold. You know, no devices are alerting, but if I have a particular look at groups, rack free keeps on hitting the warning. So, you know, I've obviously got something going on a rack free that, that's very near the threshold of my uh, limit on that particular rack. 
Now, I'm interested in resolving that, so maybe I have a look at a different rack. You know, I go and have a look at rack two. I say, oh, well, there's power in there. That I can. So I can reallocate either power or I can move some hardware around. And obviously in the larger data centers, these quick reports are on the right, like this top 10 underutilized racks by power. Yeah, you know, if I had 100 racks in there, it's going to indicate which, which, which racks I might want to go and put new equipment into because I've got capacity for. And then we also categorize idle servers. So any server that... 20% utilized for 80% of the time is tagged as an idle server. And they might be servers that I might want to retire or servers that I might want to consolidate. So that gives you an idea of what I can do at that point. I said earlier on that I wanted, I would go and have a look at policies. So very quickly, I might want to build a power cap policy. Okay. And I might want to pick a... Um, I might want to pick a 80% cap. So I go and pick some servers. Yeah. Normally we're, you know, I'm going to pick 100%, but, you know, these can be done on a particular server or a particular test and dev servers. Yeah. It's very granular in what I can do. And then obviously I can say, right, I want to cap all those servers to 80%. Oh, there's a box there that actually I want to leave at 100%. So I just make sure that is at set to 100%. And then when do I want to apply that? You know, so I could just apply that at the weekends. Yeah. And you see I'm doing range date. So I could do it overnight. I could do it on particular dates, join maintenance, etc., etc. So that gives you an idea of what I could do there. Okay. There is emergency power reduction as well. So if you have a thermal event where the air conditioning failures, fails, I could take an emergency power reduction cap the servers or even shut them down. Now, the last thing I will say is, you know, we talk about the amount of data that we're collecting. So let's just have a look at the what we call the multivariate metrics. So I'm able to display all the metrics I'm collecting from all the servers on a graph. Now, busy graph, but I might use that to spot outliers, to spot uh, unusual behavior, or make sure that all my servers um, are behaving in a correlated manner. So this was a quick tour. This was not a deep dive. If you want a deep dive on a power manager, engage your account team. They will be able to facilitate that by one of the uh, subject matter experts.